Hello and welcome to the Dungeons of Eternity feature showcase. I'm here with Quaker X, uh, one of the developers and uh, I guess like the social face for Dungeons of Eternity for Other Gate, the team itself. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a run. Sounds Quaker. good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Looking forward to this. Me too. Me too. Um, all right. Well, let's let's get to a dungeon. And you said you wanted to do just any dungeon. We'll we'll see if we can find some yeah, let's... cool stuff to show off. There's a really big feature that we're adding to this to this up this next update. Okay. And that's the arachnophobia mode. Sweet. So that's been a highly requested feature for a long time, and we've thought about all the different ways we can implement something like this, from swapping the spiders to maybe blobs, or you know, we've seen other games do like a, a sprite or <laughs> a pixel spider. Yeah. We come up with a new creature altogether that looks you know, definitely more friendly than a spider. Um, still has the same animations. We've replaced both the small spiders, which jump at your face and yeah. are very creepy crawly guys. And then we also replaced the giant spiders as well. That awesome. you occasionally encounter. So a lot of spiders in Underworld. For those, you know, who don't like to play with spiders or yet. Underworld and, and Lava Forge, right? Or is it? Correct. Okay, cool. Correct. So Sandstorm and Vile Halls don't have any spiders. Right. They just have um, slimes and, and bugs. <laughs> Other bugs, yep. not spider bugs. That's yeah. right. That's cool. right. Scorpions, scorpions in Sandstorm. Yeah. Yep. So Some this won't replace the scorpions. Cool. So, but yeah, we can go to go to settings, the quick yep. menu uh -huh. on your left controller, and then go to visuals, visuals, and just enable it. All right. Yeah, I already had it enabled, but I'll show it's disabled right there with the red, and then enabled with the green. So perfect one thing to note is that you can't change it while you're in a dungeon so you'll have mm. to be in the main menu or in the lobby to Good make to that change and that's just because we need to reload the, the models and things like that perfect perfect yeah. good to you know. set it in here you're good to go i am good to go awesome let's get to it then um oh yeah you have uh you you don't like haste do you you're not a haste guy or do you, do you... uh i yeah. do i should uh. probably go put that on yeah okay if you want we want to run fast yeah yeah <laughs> if i have it unlocked to be honest not not that <laughs> i want to speed characters right right not that i want to speed run it but uh i i just i tend to like to <laughs> to zoom around it's just kind of fun let's go okay perfect zoom zoom all right so i mean is there any reason that showcasing the spiders on underworld would be any better than lava forge or does it not matter uh Underworld's personal favorite, to be okay. honest. No, me too. I, I love the aesthetic of Underworld. More and the things like that. So. Okay, okay. More spider webs. Cool, cool. Um, so then, let's see. We got the Morass of Despair. That works for that. me. Nice long level here. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Very straight. <laughs> but that's good stuff. And you're the dungeon host? Yeah, okay. All right. What difficulty? Um, I guess tier seven. You think we could do a tier seven? Let's try it. Why not? <laughs> okay, let's let's go. Are you uh more of a? Oh gosh, wait. I have my. Do you switch is... weapons? Um. Nope. No, no. I don't need to switch weapons. I just I realized that the sound effect is still a lot louder than your voice. Um, oh, okay. And not that that will matter in uh, in the actual, like what we already talked about shouldn't matter, but I think I'm gonna turn it, uh, turn your voice up again. I'm just gonna blast you to okay. 100%. And I think, oh, actually that might be too loud. Wait, okay, talk. How does I, this sound now? Okay, I think that's good. Yeah. I guess you could always turn it down in post, right? <laughs> yeah, true, and, true. I could edit it. Yeah. It well. Yeah, no, it's tricky because I can't I can't separate the audio, um, like your voice audio from the game audio. It's just not right. a separate channel. But right. yeah, no, I, I think we're good. I think I'm good here. Okay. And uh, I think I also realized I'm on seated mode, so let me <laughs> turn that off. <laughs> um Okay. There we go. Default. Perfect. Okay. Good to go. Um, all right, sweet. Well, let's do this dungeon. And uh, yeah, so what What are the other, we've got the spiders, obviously we're gonna run into spiders, but there's, is there any uh, any other 
stuff that, that we're going to see cool stuff in this particular dungeon? Well, you know, I'll be honest, this next update's going to be a, sm a smaller one. And that was part of that was because we have a ton of new things we're working on. And we had to, we wanted to get something out sooner than later. But some of these other features just require more testing and, and feedback as well, yeah. and iteration. So we've trimmed it back. We have arachnophobia mode. We have an update to one of the chests in the game, which you will we may come across. And there's some other quality of life improvements, bug fixes. There's some balancing with like the bomb damage. You have a crossbow oh. in your back. We adjusted some of the right, right. The and I forgot to I forgot to get a bomb. I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna like craft some bombs so we could test that out. But I guess maybe maybe I'll find some in some chests. So should be good there. Well, the, the next dungeon run, we'll load up on bombs and and see how far we get. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, um, bomb only level. <laughs> right, right. I think I do notice that this uh, the scope is working a little better because I I never. I never use the scope. Um, yeah, I usually just like hip aim or whatever that's called. Just yeah, but <laughs> but now I, I think is that yeah. Hold it up with your with both hands. With both hands, okay. Like actually grip. There you go, it. and see if aiming through the reticle feels any different to you. I found it, it feels... to be a lot more comfortable. I didn't have to tilt my head as 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 far. Yeah, yeah. No, it feels great. I, I think that is a because I I do hear people complain about that that don't just naturally aim like this and yeah so now that they've got that that should be a that should be huge for them especially um if they're afraid of spiders as well this update will be great <laughs> you don't want to miss that shot right line it up <laughs> take out the spider exactly especially if you only got one shot i happen to have right. eight shots here but but not everyone's gonna have eight shots <laughs> nope, so <not> yet. <laughs> all right cool let's let's do this Ooh, I'm not get exploded right off the bat. So I actually find this to be the hardest realm. Oh, uh -oh, because of that. Okay. Oh, I didn't make revive yeah, potions. That was good either. timing. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Really. I forgot to make my revives. Oh. Well. Uh oh. Okay. 84. I should be good. Sweet. Nice job. Thank you. But yes, <laughs> exactly because of that. I, I think before, uh, like a, a while ago, or I guess closer to when the game released, people were always saying, and maybe even you guys were saying that the underworld was the hardest and like the realms had a scale from like one to four, which was harder in a sense. But it, was that something that was intentional or is that just how it kind of it's funny you out. say it's the hardest i think it's it underworld was supposed to be the easiest right right that <laughs> yeah and that that's what i think i heard but now i like i personally think it's hard it's just because there's so many ice enemies in it um i think that's the problem yeah we yeah. could tweak some of that if we needed to the imps are also in, can be incredibly hard okay they're so fast right and right. you come across any of the kamikaze guys then it's over or yeah. if they hit you with the, the ice you know it's tough so yeah but when it first released, the imps weren't in the game. So, but nope. now that they're we'll in the game, yeah, right. Now that they're in the game, Underworld and Lava Forge makes it tough because they're not in Vile Halls or Sandstorm, right? Nope. Okay. Nope. Cool. All right. Well, we we still didn't. Well, see I promise to do better in the next room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fantastic. And uh, oh, oh, actually, oh, I think we got a boss. This is gonna oh. be tough. Yeah, the ice golem. Right? Yeah. This ice bow is not gonna do much, huh? Oh, we can test the bombs now, though. Hey, we have bombs, though. Yeah, this is perfect. <laughs> so, oh, jeez, I threw that a lot farther. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah, we, we should probably... Oh, oh yeah. Oh. That's not good. No, no. If I get hit I by ice... I was not prepared. Ice, yeah. Uh-oh. Tell me that hits him. Knocks him down. No. Okay, I, I might die here. Ugh. Wow. Barely. Just run in the next room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, that that might be. We can skip boss fights. You just need to revive me first. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair enough. 
Yeah, boss fights. The, this boss you fight. You can knock is him tough. down and then save me. That that was the idea. Uh oh, I think I'm oh, dead no. though. Oh no. You're frozen. And he's frozen too. <laughs> okay. Run, run, run. I got lucky. I think you can make it. I, I think it knocked him down too. Yeah. Oh no, it didn't. I thought I hit him three times. Oh well. Okay, we're good. Into this room. <laughs> nice. All right. Got the torch here. These are definitely one of my favorite rooms. Um, ooh, any plans to add uh, enemies popping out in these rooms? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> we love the dark rooms too. I think they. It'd be really cool to expand upon what we can do with this. Like maybe you can light a, a cauldron and and then illuminates an area. Yeah. And then yeah. you can have enemies spawn. So you have a little area, but you may be going through. Right, These yeah. Dark tu longer dark tunnels that require you to light things and then yeah. continue forward. It's just tough with real time lighting that you're basically holding a real time light. Yep. So yep. on Quest Two, it's it's a performance hog for sure. Makes sense. But you know, we, we could probably come up with ways to to fake that or bake the lighting, and then we, you know, use a, a simple shader to, okay, invert the colors. Sweet. We'll figure yeah. something out. But yeah. that could be a neat feature. We love the dark rooms. They're they lots, are awesome. there are more things planned around those as well. For cool. Sure. Cool. Yeah, because, I mean, definitely as a newer player, these were, like, by far the coolest thing to just, like, go in and realize, like, oh my gosh, I'm actually, like, dungeon delving, and uh, yeah. we're, <laughs> we're in these dark rooms. Is something going to pop out? Especially not knowing that things may or may not pop out when you're a new player. And, I mean, they do pop out of boxes if you end up opening the boxes. They and, do. And yep. you, could, you could get a pretty nice jump scare there, but... Uh, yeah, no. We talked about like ghostly enemies as well that okay. can come out, or you yeah, know, I mean, only enemies that only show up in the dark rooms, right? And you already have the um, exo dungeon uh, enemies, the crystal yep. hunt enemies that are basically ghosts. So that's right. <laughs> yeah, I guess it probably wouldn't be too hard to like create something because you could kind of base it off of those ghost guys already. Correct. That would be an easy win. So yeah. Oh yeah. Those are sweet. good features, Dad. <laughs> yeah, totally. All right. So how are we gonna get around this golem? Just just hook um, it or <laughs> I like that's why we have haste, right? Who's yeah. Going first? Uh, I'm going. Okay. All right. Good luck. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, that was. Uh oh. Nice. Okay. Avoid the rock. Sweet. Are we are we gonna try to kill him or are we gonna skip? <laughs> I just want to throw a bomb at him. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I'll, I'll We're still looking for spiders, right? Yeah. Totally. There's yeah, bats. We... Ooh. Nice. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Ooh. I've got a question about headshots. So, if I headshot these enemies, like I, I know on zombies, you headshot them and it's it's like a one hit kill. Oh, here almost. we go. Ooh. Oh, yes. He's a very fast little cute spider. Oh, he is so cute. My gosh. Definitely a spider. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That's like... Wow. Basically... Basically a slime. But, uh... Yeah, he's a lot like a slime. Yeah, yeah. But they're cuter than a slime, I guess. <laughs> cuter in my opinion, yeah. <laughs> but, uh... No, that's... That is awesome. Yeah, they remind me of, like, these giant stuffed animals or something. Oh, yeah. Giant, well, slimy stuffed animals, I guess. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> Not <laughs> much in there. Do, and do they look significantly different if they don't have, uh, like, if we weren't in tier seven, would they look significantly different in tier one? It's mostly just like color changes. Okay. Got it. They're they come in slightly different sizes. The yeah. earliest tier is like they're a little smaller, then they just kind of get a little bigger. But okay. Uh, so yeah, we may come across ones that will freeze us and there's they're exactly like the regular spiders in the game even the large ones will still shoot webs and everything so. okay yeah i guess i didn't really see the attack animation there was he like swinging at you or like the spiders will just kind of reach with their front yeah limbs and just... and that's how this guy did okay yeah yeah i saw those two little feet those are <laughs> so i yeah. guess yeah that's what they'll use but sweet, sweet i like how it turned out it's they're, yeah. all, they're they're almost like a whole new enemy even if you don't need the mode you could turn it on and kind of play around with something that looks a little different just yeah. kind of cool 
Yeah, no, that is awesome. I, I love the design. Yeah. Oh, nice in. oh there you oh. go. Nice, big one. Oh, but they shoot stuff, right? That's even scarier. Oh my god, so we gotta actually kill this. <laughs> big guys. Yeah, it's, I, I guess it's kind of weird watching uh, <laughs> webs come out of the, <laughs> these slime looking yeah. creatures. But, oh man, that's awesome. I, I still I gotta see one of these guys attack. I didn't really pay attention to that. Let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Lost my bow. Sweet. I'm trying to keep this one spider alive so I can Examine him a little bit. Oh no! <laughs> He's definitely done. been aiming my shots you know Ooh. ah man i i should have gotten oh wow wait i can still see the uh the golem from here that's that's kind of spooky <laughs> but, yeah, he's hanging out waiting for us yeah i should have gotten the uh the crossbow with one um just one shot so i could do more damage and aim it but oh well i got my got my spam shots <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to aim it a little bit better and uh, see see if I can take use of this new aim feature. Yeah, see if it works or, out. Yeah. Oh man, no, really? Cause yeah, before I could, when when I did try to aim like this with two hands and looking through the scope, it did not feel natural. Yeah, I did. Like you were saying, I kind of had to wiggle to make it in my yeah, field or of vision. Yeah, crane your neck to kind of get it lined up too far. Yeah. Like far enough to where you could use it. I felt. It's, it's funny though. I'm I'm using like I'm recording on my left eye, so and I I look through the bow with my right eye, so right or through the scope. So in this recording, it'll probably be weird <laughs> because switch the other hand. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna be tough. Try that. I've got zero muscle Just to see memory if it looks of, any different. of this. I think it I think it's mostly the same. I think I'm just more awkward with this. So yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just not natural for me. Oh, oh, I was also closing the wrong eye. That's obviously not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. It it feels better with this, I think, too. Not quite as good as my right hand, just because I'm used to that, but that works. Nice. All right. What what room are? We? Oh, I guess we have to go this way. We don't have the. Oh, I do have the skeleton key. Oh, you do have the key. Luckily. Yeah. Nice. And. I got the map too. I don't know when I got the map, but I I got the map. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't see it. All right. Yeah, I guess we're going over here. There's oh, a little I... room over here if you want to check it out. Yeah, let's go check that out. Uh. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, but one more thing. The the headshots. I think I kind of oh, mentioned. Right. Yeah. So with zombies, obviously, yeah, you headshot them, it does more damage. Is that the case with all enemies? It is the case for skeletons. Okay. Skeleton, Definitely. even like like skeleton mages, just all variations of skeletons. Yes. Okay, yeah, but all not the imps. Skeletons. I, I don't think so. I'd have to double check though. Okay. And do you have Honestly. any like plans of of showing that like in the outpost at some point, or is that something that players are supposed to just go off and figure out on their own? We always looked at it as one of those you had to just figure out. Okay. You know where. The skeletons, they start to have armor, and most of it appears... Like, if you hit them in the head when they have armor on their head, they, it does do less damage. Yeah. So, okay, that took two shots versus one. Or right. every time I hit them in the head, it's they, you know, collapse into their bones and everything. So, hopefully, they learn through that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no, I, I definitely... I think I learned, like, in muscle memory of what it is. Yeah. But then 
after I like started playing the game and like getting more into it, I, I started to try to analyze it and listen to the community about like the, those people who are really analytical and want to know every last tiny like statistic about the game. I did get curious in that way. Um, and yeah, so just I, at some point, I think I even started forgetting that enemies even had armor and I would just shoot them <laughs> because right. I just got used to hacking and slashing. But yeah, the armor matters. So if yeah. you come across a pantsless skeleton, you know, <laughs> where, you know where to hit him, right? Yeah. So <laughs> and I guess like the imps, they also have vulnerable spots, don't they? Or and like more armored spots or are they kind of just I don't think think they use the armor system i think it's okay. it's just the skeletons it's interesting okay there's a lot of extra work to get that to work and yeah. it randomizes and syncs across all the clients it's a really sweet feature honestly it but is. it's yeah. to add it to new enemies is a decent amount of work too so gotcha okay well no, that's fair let's go into the room let's check it out uh oh yeah one of these get a free chest after we kill stuff I also got another question to kill these guys. Alright, cool. Um, so, I was curious, there, there was some discussion in the Discord, I think this is also, oh, here's a key, I got too many keys. Um, cool. But yeah, there, there's there been like, this might be a little too analytical, but <laughs> um, these, <laughs> some people think, or at least one person had stated that uh, enemies have invulnerability right after they get hit so that you can't just continuously hit them. Um, and I was thinking like with my crossbow, when I spam it and I hit like all of the shots, they, I, I feel like they, they get hit and it shows that animation every time they get hit. But is there that cooldown for like only swords or only, uh, bows or is there not even a cooldown am i just crazy i don't think there's a cooldown okay yeah i think you can just if there is it's so small just to for animation reasons or so you can't break something you know okay. but yeah. if there's not not an, a purposeful invulnerability yeah, for enemies yeah right okay right. yeah because i i think the thing this one person might have been thinking about is when you swing like they, they get invulnerability so you can't just like do this to enemies but sure m my thoughts are like y the reason you can't do this to enemies is because you need a range of motion to and actually enough like, deal velocity to, enough to, velocity yeah right and right. that that is on purpose so that okay. you can't do the wiggle sword defeat the enemies and everything that yeah. was something we really wanted to, to you gotta hack you gotta slash you gotta yep. <laughs> put a little a little more effort into it and that was how that cool out. Yeah, no, that, that's the main, one of the main things that sucked me into this game was just that kind of, okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, I love it, I love it. The realism. The realism on these things, too, even though they're, they're not real in, in real life, but, like, it just looks so real. That's awesome. Okay, now, now I got a revive, though. We can go back and defeat the boss. We no. could. <laughs> I'm kidding. Though he probably has, like... 50,000 health points. <laughs> yeah, no, that guy's going to be here. That guy's going to be tough. Yep. But cool, we got that. Let's continue on. And, oh, I mean, I guess there's probably some plans in the work for more bosses and stuff, right? We have more enemies coming, for sure. Okay. Good yeah. to know. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, one of the big things I know ha that has been asked is... When are we going to see those wyverns out in the sky in those open areas? When are we going to be able to fight those guys? And that's when we initially put those in there. You know, they're just ambient creatures to yep. kind of add something moving and right. everything. And we've wanted to fight them since day one as well. So <laughs> that's good to know we're on the same that's page. That's something we're, you know, we're working on all yep. of that stuff. Oh, yeah. It's how do we, what's the best implementation? Right. What's the... You know, have it work with our current systems, yeah. To where everything's you know randomly, randomly spawned and it's dynamic. You know, right, right. We can't spawn the wyverns in in a hallway like this. Yeah, yeah. So they'd have to kind of have their own system for spawning and everything, which we will figure. We have a 
solutions to things. It's just yeah. implementing new new systems to support. Right. But yeah, with the random generation of, of so many things in this game, it makes it hard to implement features and not get bugs. So like obviously we we report yep. as the community, we report bugs and you get it better and better. And uh, yeah, no, I, I think when I initially played this game, even though there were hardly any bugs, there were still some bugs. And I mean, even now there's yeah. still some bugs. But like, because so many people have been reporting, it's gotten significantly better. No, it's, it's like so helpful. So it's clean. <laughs> Yeah, we have an amazing set of um, Discord players and or players on that are you know vocal on Discord and you know beta testers that are really have been really helpful. Yeah, yeah, no, that is that is awesome. I appreciate all the. Oh yeah, go ahead. I don't think you can get two mimics in one level. So. No, right? That that's yeah, that's something I I noticed as well. No double mimic. Which I, I, I think is good because yeah, at the moment you just get that, um, you just get the revive potion, and a lot of people just either don't even use it or they'll come on and like, like you you would just you'd rather get a weapon for the most part. People would rather get weapons right. out of those instead of revive potions. But yes, it can be helpful and it is nice. And and so there is a feature that we are working on though that will yep. be helpful in that sense to okay. where you'll be able to store potions in your player room. Oh sweet! So that you know, you can leave the, or if you want to store the power gems, if you're more of a, you know, yeah, magic staff user and you want to store those, because right now you don't get to keep them, yeah, or you can't, you know, fabricate them. So you'll be able to keep those in your room. And so if you want to load up on resurrection potions or, you know, potions you haven't unlocked through the, the right. fabricator, that's a good way to keep those around. That is huge. So that's a new feature coming. That's I don't huge, think it's going to yeah. be in the next. It might be in the next one. It may not, though. So okay, yeah, uh, but eventually, Just yeah, we'll see it, and that's yeah. that's exciting. It's in the works. Yep, it's definitely in the works. It's yes. in the game. <laughs> Silence those people who keep requesting because I feel like everybody, that's like their first thing that they ask is like, when I can know. I store these things? I and, know. Yeah, no, it's it's really good to know as a player myself that like, that's coming, and and hopefully this spreads and people are aware of it, and then once it comes out, that's going to be huge, and I'm sure people are going to love it. So. Yeah, those little features are really nice to have. You know, they they improve the the quality and experience of the game. Yeah, there's they're not terribly hard to implement. It's just all right. There's user interface work. There are models. There's networking. There, are, it takes it takes everyone on the team, our small team, to implement even a small feature like that. Right. That seems trivial, but it's it takes away from other larger features we might be working on. So yep, it's all important. We see it that way. Yep. It's dividing it up and figuring out how to implement yeah, you gotta have that good balance between takes. the content and the yeah. like i guess features content and features are those right. different like would you consider those to be different things or the, they're, they they're overlap the same, but yeah they overlap you know because right. certain you know a new enemy is could be considered a new feature in a lot of ways or a new weapon type you add long swords and yeah. you can play the game differently we add some other new weapon type then True. it's going to make the game a lot different so yeah, yeah but yeah all a balancing yeah. act is what it seems like so. for sure and you know business wise it's which one is gonna we have to weigh those things unfortunately too you know yeah. we have to weigh you know decisions on our time and effort into features that we want to improve the game for existing users but also we want to bring in new players yep so yep. that's where a lot of the decision comes down as well as this going to bring in new players or interest new people right that's fair that's awesome Cool. Well, I guess this is our end room over here. This must be the last one. Yep. Yep. This is a fun room to play in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but man, I we didn't we didn't get that tier three chest. That's uh. We might have to hop into another level. Just yeah. Just try. Yeah. No, we can do that. But yeah, I guess we'll we'll finish out this level and see if we can find a tier three and, and another short one. But let's do it. Let's do it. Sweet. Don't get killed. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, where's all the spiders? I want more cute little spiders. <laughs> Like we might have. Oh no! Disconnection! Alright, well, maybe he'll be able to join back. In the meantime, I'll see if I can hang in. Oh man, it sucks that you can't, with a reload crossbow, with a six shot crossbow, you can't uh, kill zombies, purple zombies in one shot. Oh, we got stuff behind me? Nope. Oh! Somehow that didn't hit me. Crossbow is a good shield. Yeah, sometimes the uh, explosions don't work out very well. Quaker, oh. you there? Huh. Yeah, that's weird. I, I saw another disconnect notification, even though he already disconnected. Strange. Yay! <laughs> Back! I hung in there! Did it spawn you in a different location than when you disconnected? It spawns you next to your your team. Ah, that makes sense. Okay. That wasn't that like a recent change too. Of how yeah. you Yeah, okay. Update or two ago we did that. Right. Yeah, because I remember spawning at the the start of the dungeon. Oh yes, we got big spiders. Oh boy, here we go. Nice. <laughs> Do you think you guys are gonna add a name for these these blobs? We should. Yeah. I don't think we have a name for them. <laughs> well, community can come up with a good name, I'm sure. Oh yeah, totally. Like Fred. I feel like they'll, they'll probably call him something like Fred. I can't hit these guys at all. <laughs> oh, me neither. Oh. oh no. Oh wait, I gotta revive. Yay. Yes. Almost went through the whole thing and just didn't aim with the scope. Oh, this, <laughs> this is perfect. I can snipe him. Just kidding. I'm bad at this. <laughs> oh. Wow. I think I might be worse with the scope than without. <laughs> eh. I'm decent. Okay, yeah, I, I scoped a little bit there, and it was it was a struggle for me because I'm not used to it. But I think for the people who prefer scopes, that'll be really good. <laughs> and for new users who want to try it out, I think it's it's True. useful for, useful for for players like that. Right. Okay. We somehow magically got a fourth battery. Yeah, that so. I was just about to say that. 
<laughs> I guess because like you disconnected at a weird time and it like yeah, yeah that. So we could have left, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Actually, do you think that would have worked? You, you think we would have just teleported yeah, it out? It should have worked without. Yeah. Okay, interesting. <laughs> and in fact, this that blast that does there, it should have knocked them all, knocked them all out. There was right. a time when we were going to do that, where enemies are coming at you from all sides. Oh, and then you have to leave. It's tough to while yeah. they're coming at you. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be cool. And what was the well, here, let me, let's go back into the outpost. Yeah, I think it had to do with playtesting. People would just keep running around and keep fighting, mm. or you would die when you're telling, like, there are all sorts of little edge cases yeah. where it get tricky, so. Right. It's like, no, finish the last wave, and we'll just keep it simple for now. Okay. That could be a something down the road, like a cool little, something I'd, we've been wanting to add to. Dungeon raids specifically would be different ways to finish the level. Right. And it's random when you go in. You don't know what you're going to have to do. Or it's on the map and it says, get the drone or protect the drone as it's doing something. Or yeah. uh, find the portal or escape this. You yeah. know, there's one of those like same sort of thing where we have the ideas and we have, we could put together the plan and then it's, all right, well, we need to find cycles so that we can implement these sorts of things right that would be awesome yeah and i i think like the uh swarm at the end would be kind of cool especially yeah. in like yeah. higher difficulties because for the new players sure. they might think like oh that too you, like you mentioned they would just be at the uh, play testing or i guess it wouldn't be play testing at that point but yeah new players just wouldn't know to leave they would just keep That's fighting right. and so but as you progress like almost nobody's going to just hop into a tier 7 dungeon off the bat no so so yeah the i think it could be good to have those higher tier dungeons with that horde finish and yeah yeah no i think that could be cool and it would, would be, be i could see it raising problems of like people just staying there and farming kills but why is that a problem people can do that right it's not a problem at that, yeah. at that stage either right. you know it takes a lot of xp to get to you know level 60 yeah you know i wonder how many dungeons you had to play through <laughs> A lot, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, what have you not actually hit level sixty, or did you have you like swapped accounts so much, and that's the thing? That, yeah, and playing so much, and I play a lot in the editor yeah. to where playing later is. Yeah, you want you want to play I other find games. Time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is your job, not your hot, your. Uh, yeah, but it, it still seems like you enjoy it, which is great, right? So absolutely, yeah. yeah. It's a lot. It's a ton of fun to work on and a ton of fun to play, and yeah. It's just finding time, you know. There's things outside of of the game that many have things obligations yeah. too. Yep. So yep. if I start playing, then my kids see me playing, and they're like, "We want to play too." And then <laughs> that gets you know tricky. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fair. Cool. Well, so do you want to try to get a tier three chest? We could. Okay. I Real quick though. Yeah. Yep. I had. Um, I'm running low on storage. Ah. So I need to save this and delete some other stuff. Fair enough. Okay. Cool. All right, it ready is to go. Up and running. Um, so, yep, I got this cursed vaults, and I am the leader now. So I'll do this. Uh, you want to try another tier seven? Let's do a little, few little down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> few down. Uh, four. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Fantastic. Into the dungeon. Oh, oh, did yeah. we want some bombs? I'm gonna go grab some bombs real quick. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, it won't then... take long. Yep, I will. Yeah, it won't take long. You know why? Because of the feature you added. This is a nice feature. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Three potions rather than one at Easy. a time. Yeah. And then here, here's your health potion that you dropped. Oh, thanks. Uh huh. Right, into it. Oh, we got double daggers as well. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Do you? Okay. Oh, yeah. So, do you go for weapons based on uh, how good the weapon is or how good it looks? What's What's your? Uh, I your style. I am a visual guy for sure. Okay. So I definitely like the look of weapons, but I also prefer. 
I like how different the weapons are. So yeah. sometimes, a lot of the times, I like to play with a sword and an axe and a bow. That's like the three I like to play with. So yeah. But then you know, I love to switch it up with double dagger, which is a lot of fun. You can throw like that. Agreed. So it's function first, and then visuals. Yeah. For me. Okay. And then all the other stuff is awesome, but yes, yeah. less important for me. Fair enough. Yeah, I think I'm I'm pretty similar to you there. Where yeah, I I like that fun function first, but um. Once you get to level 60, like basically all the weapons can Correct. do the same amount. Um, or I mean, not even 60. Like you can get to level 40, or and you'll still get good weapons um, that might be useful, or yep. or at least useful and enough. And like two perks or something. Like yeah, that, exactly. So. Yeah, and so yeah, no, I prefer like these daggers. Just look so cool to me with the double really blade. Do. I love that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so. Uh, it's, this this uh the long sword my favorite model is not this one but it's still pretty cool but the my favorite one is the model that you use on the skeleton boss you know that one oh right yeah yeah so that's pretty sweet yeah there's some good ones yeah yeah sure. it's a lot of good everything but <laughs> all right there and there should be a key oh slime there's a slime Dead slime. Daggers great for slimes. Oh yeah, yep. Daggers are great for any critter. And Do you have a, a favorite type of, you know, room style? I really like the mines, and we don't have a whole lot of the mines. I I do to add more of. Right, I do really like the mines. Um, I wouldn't say the mines are my favorite. I think the open rooms are probably my favorite, um, with the wyverns and. Uh, oh, okay. Open air, like outside. Yeah, open air. Yeah, even if it doesn't have wyverns flying out, but just like anything that's like just barely outside. I like the the look of like you're still in a dungeon, but yeah, you're kind of like in a yard or just yeah, like barely cool. outside of the no, dungeon. That's... Yeah, but again, you, like you still those are those are fun to make. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's it's also like every room is so cool that like I, I like that there's that variety of different rooms. I, I wouldn't prefer one significantly more than any other. So Sure, okay. sure. Makes sense. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Into here. Got a key on the entrance. And yeah, hopefully... Hopefully this one does have that tier 3 chest. Jeez. Oh, boy. I forgot that I had a sword. <laughs> I was just going at everything with daggers. Daggers are great for these. Cool. Yeah, I feel like the long sword's pretty, pretty nice for, for critters. It is. Yup. All right, I got this key. Let's get this chest. Kitchen. Do you think you'll ever make it so that these keys we have to put in the correct way, or is it intentional that? Like for people like me, we just slide the keys in like this <laughs> instead of like this. <laughs> I I just do it the right way, and it. I didn't know you could do even do it sideways. Oh, you didn't know that. Oh, <laughs> I did, mean, did we not report the bug? <laughs> <laughs> there have been keys are were tricky with you know sharing like sharing keys with each other, dropping keys. We yeah. had some key issues, so uh, the hand was getting stuck at one point. There's an ownership thing where if you put there was a bug at one point where I think if you put two keys in. Or you get your hand stuck, so yeah. We just try to make it as simple as possible. Put it, put it in whatever way you want, and it works. So Sweet, automatically yeah. opens. We used to have it; you had to put it in, turn it. Now you just, it just kind of opens. So yeah. Well, I mean, you still do have to turn it, right? A little like... bit, but you had to do a little bit more. Ah, and okay. There'd a be a state action. there where you get stuck, and gotcha. Okay. Networking bugs are fun. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I find it to be. I, I kind of just I go for the convenience of it. I don't. At, at first, I loved turning the key, and that it was just so satisfying, and it still is yep. satisfying. But now, since I've just opened so many of them, because you know <laughs> I've played so much, um, yeah, I just I slide it in sideways, and I don't even have to turn it. So, <laughs> yeah, and that's actually that was one of the things that uh, Silver Tongue Devil in his tutorial or like tips and tricks video, that was one of his tips and tricks was just like, if you don't want to wait to turn the key, just 
pop it inside. Just do this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that's you, a you good tip. so you can't you can't fix it anymore because it's it's in no, silver tongue. That's that's it, done. Cannot change things like that. Exactly. That's for yep, sure. Perfect. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh yeah. No, I love another it. boss room. I love these rooms too. Okay. Yeah. This is this was one of our earliest rooms actually. Really? Okay. Yeah. This was based off in, inspired by Mines of Moria. Okay. That is pretty sweet. <laughs> Barely. Oh yes, that's perfect. Okay, so we do have. Okay. Let's let's see what we get. And, Hopefully. Uh, Oh boy. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. I guess oh, this is the perfect room to show this off to. So. Yeah. Here, let's don't kill him yet. Don't kill him. Okay. Just get killed by Watch him. Watch this. Or he's oh. got a new attack. Oh yeah, yeah. I did see. I saw it. Okay. Give us your new attack. <laughs> Do we have to like? Oh, okay. Oh, we can duck. Oh, I did not duck. <laughs> I didn't duck in time. No. <laughs> So luckily he's on a pedestal. He can we can duck. Yeah, yeah. That that would have been easy, but uh, I made that hard. <laughs> Sweet. So I'll revive you, and then we can check out what's different about this epic mimic. Yep, yep. Perfect. Compared to the, oh yeah, and you called it epic mimic. So so these chests. I always called them tier three chests, like tier one, tier two, tier three. Sure. Do you yeah. have like a specific way you want to call them? Is it like uh, common and then something and then epic? Tier's good. That's what everyone else has called them okay. internally in the in the in the project. They're called epic chests. Then you have small and medium. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Huh. Wait. So then, why isn't it large? Small, medium, large. <laughs> no, it it is epic. I like the I like the epic because it, it is epic. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, these visuals explain. first. It's more epic looking than large looking. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. True. Fair enough. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you want to explain but your new so feature here, you got here? Yeah. You get to pick. You know, instead of giving you a random weapon or dropping a resurrection potion, mm -hmm. we give you the option of picking, and it, it's randomized. So this could be a long sword. This, these could be daggers, but they're all pretty good pretty good rewards so even like yeah. a lower tier player they come across an epic you know tier three mimic <laughs> yeah then they'll get a good choice of, of select of weapons to choose from too so oh right. i really need a, a crossbow or a, a bow and i haven't gotten one in a while this is enough way to kind of come. awesome More yeah weapons i love it um i am all for uh choices and like we we have so much randomization yeah. which is awesome in this game yeah but then that also kind of like we've got a lack of choice now but with this now we have a little bit of choice in our dungeons this is one of those can... features we put in and we're like ah oh, why didn't we do this from like the start this, or... and, and people are going to want this everywhere or something because <laughs> <laughs> it is it does the choice is nice right yeah yeah it's like you still get a random weapon but you get to pick from these three options so. right right yeah well, no I, I, mean, I love it all feedback about it from, from the players so yep um, but yeah, now I, I gotta figure out what I want. I guess the long bow. Yep, I'm a bow guy. I love the bow in this game. I don't know if I've told you, but I mean, basically everybody loves the bow. It's it's hard not to. But yeah, yeah that that's like one favorite. of the things. Yeah, right. Because you you rocked it twice in a row. But that's definitely one of the things that sold me on this game is the bow and awesome. just like the mechanics it's oh my gosh it's so good compared to those other games that like you can't you can only go this far and like you sure. don't you don't have to take it out of the the holster i mean i know we don't actually have a holster but it feels like we're taking it out of a holster to get that arrow yeah and then yeah there are a lot of for it. a lot of different implementation versions this one you know we hooked up and it was it was simple and we iterated on it for a while and yeah it tried it with a lot of different people yeah. from all ages and sizes and we found I think a good medium for everyone um, speaking of there is that exploit I don't think we've pushed that update yet so in the next update right. someone found a little bug where you can quickly shoot arrows okay that's been fixed sweet sweet yeah looking good yeah and I guess uh, that kind of covers the the main things we got the spiders we got this thing um, well, not the spiders, the not spiders, uh, arachnophobia yeah, mode. Non spiders. <laughs> yeah. And then um, did we, 
I, I mean, you you just mentioned that. Uh, oh, oh, I I went over the crossbow thing, the uh, aiming, aim assist. I guess uh, the scope accuracy is a little bit better tweaked a little bit. Um, Correct. And then yeah, that bug fix with the bow. I guess they, there are a bunch of other little bug fixes. There's other that... little things. We up the damage on the bombs. There's there's right, a little there's a yep. list of small things that oh, the you know quality of life improvements for sure. Yeah, you said damage on the bombs. I thought it was radi uh, explosion radius. Is am I wrong? Is it damage? It could be the damage in the. It's it went from forty to seventy five. Okay. So I think it's just damage. Okay, has gone up. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. Awesome. Well, you ready to continue? Let's do it. All right. I'm going to load up on... Oh, I have bombs. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Fabricated the bombs, then we come in here with free bombs. What do you mean you, bombs. Can, you can load up... You get free bombs from these? It's only when yeah. the boss is there, right? Or... Can you get them now? I can't. Can you? Yep. What? Here. Here's some. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so weird. Huh. Yeah. I, I, should I make a bug report right here real quick? <laughs> um, nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, I already have three bombs, though. I, I crafted okay. the bombs back there. So that's, yeah. Maybe that's why. If Take you drop bombs. one, you, sh you might be able to oh. um, grab one from the chest. Nope. Cobwebs oh. and... Uh, oh. Yeah, no green aura. That's too bad. Oh. Slime. Must be a host thing. But I'm the host. I guess. Yeah. Oh, so like so the host doesn't. Did, okay. Did yeah. it shut? Did the chest shut? No, it's still open. It's just okay. It's like we looted it. Well, moving yeah. on. <laughs> Things happen. Move on. Yep, yep. We 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 fixed a lot of things. We didn't create things. So we did fix that one. It's up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's in the future update. We'll go over that later. <laughs> All right. Oh, that would have been sweet. I'm trying to explode this barrel by hitting an enemy into it. Ah, oh, too like late. That? <laughs> kind of, kind of. I wanted to knock him in with my great sword. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I I forget how satisfying it is to run lower, lower tier dungeons, because. And you just obliterate everything. Yeah, right. It's very yeah. satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it's like the the most satisfying thing in this game is the finishing hit, and when yes. you can just finish hits with the first swing, it's oh, it's so so crisp, so clean. <laughs> Whoa, that was weird. Okay. All right, you've got the. This map. is another one of those long dungeons. It's yeah, the straight. Funny. Oh, Almost wait. looks like the, the other one we played. This one doesn't even show as open for me. Oh! Because we didn't open it. There was another chest, wasn't there? Oh, yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah. A you, medium chest. You want to go grab it real quick? Or should we just continue? I don't care Let's either Let's just way. keep going. Okay. Right. <laughs> that works. Yeah, you know, you, you probably know that you have a ton of completionists players that like have yeah. to go back yeah I, i'm not yeah. one of those but yeah, it's... <laughs> i'm not one of those either but i totally get it <laughs> yep yep me too <laughs> me too all right on to the loud guys Was there an update at one point where the volume, the noise on those devourers went down, or was it, is it just the same as when it came out? Uh, you know, so many things get tweaked that you're not quite sure. It's possible it did. They, they're still pretty loud to me. Yeah, yeah, they're loud to me too. Do you like that loudness? Is that something that was intentional? I think it's too loud. Okay, so yeah. not necessarily intentional. Sometimes it's just a setting that you know, didn't get. Whoa! Well. Oh, jeez. What was. What's whoa? <laughs> oh, man. <wow. laughs> 
Oh, oh my. So I, I found recently that, uh, these enemies like to teleport through walls when you put them in a corner. They teleport through walls? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. I, I think... I think I have a recording of that, just, just for like a little bug report later, but... But yeah, that just happened with that guy. Like, they'll, uh, I'll, I'll hit him with my greatsword into a corner. And I, I think it mostly has to do with knockback if you have a shield or, or greatsword. It's probably animation ragdoll related and then they're yep. trying to get back to their nav mesh or something and they warp back yep so. yep all right here's a key Good shame. i love doing that too yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's cool right? so satisfying uh except when i can't pull them out well you can pull them out but you have to physically pull them out i, w I wish i could force grab them out or whatever that Oh, and then climb your chains chains up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've got two more rooms. No, a couple more. We got one across here. And grab real All quick. Right. And then we got to go down there. Got it. Yeah. A lot of cave and mines here. Oh, oh this yeah. is a small room for a lock-in. Yeah. Oh, and actually, do... Do we see more, um, I guess, do the rooms cater to the realms? Do the... Yes. Okay, okay. So, like, because we're seeing the mines, is that because uh, mines are just more probable in uh, the slime? Oh, what is this called? File halls? Correct. Okay. So, I'll tell you in a minute. Yep, yep. Gotta focus on killing stuff. The music's so loud. Yep. <laughs> there you go. Sweet. So, like, the mines are part of, like, the cave. There's four sets. Yeah. And those get, like, Underworld. Underworld is more crypts and things like that. Then you got Lava Horde, which is more keeps and castles. And then everything in between. And then we mix and match. So we try and get some that... You know, sometimes you'll go from like a cave into a sewer and it sort of makes sense. Other times you'll be in a sewer and then you'll go to a crypt and you're like, that doesn't make any sense. It, it's, we do our best to try and, you know, link up rooms that sort of fit a theme, yeah. you know? Yep. Um, that's where, you know, if we want to do all mines, we'd have to create more mine rooms and then sort of create... We have ways to say more caves in this set, more... Yeah, you know, crypts and everything like that. But then sometimes you'll get a a mine that goes into a sewer, and it doesn't always make sense. But it's still random. It's still good enough, I think. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> but as we add more rooms, then it, you know, if we added more mines, then they'd go in the caves, and you might be able to play Sandstorm and get more mine type. Cool environments and cool. Yeah, no, that's a that bit more themed in that way. Good to know. That's pretty cool. Huh. All right. Well, yeah, we got a key. Nice. Yeah, one of my favorite things to do is to throw these potions at at boxes and stuff and, and break them. <laughs> break them with the oh, potion. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's always fun. Oh, were you here? It's the little things. It is the little things. You know? That that's that's why this game is like ama I mean there there's big things too that make this game great, but <laughs> but the little things, you do the little things so well. Alright. Got room over here. Oh, sweet. Another tier three. Oh, right. Awesome. Yeah, no wonder I saved this dungeon. Sorry, sorry. Uh, epic. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's I really like the pit and pendulum. Yeah. Rooms. Me too. Me too. All right. Oh. Let's see what happens with this one. Oh. Only, Only one, one per room. dungeon. Oh, right. Gotcha. Makes sense. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts about uh, 
potentially oh cool a legendary longsword that's sweet uh what do you what are your thoughts about adding that uh that choice to more things like yeah like this along with well i, gu I guess this along with the mimics yeah Probably yeah, not. it's possible, or there's maybe a new type of chest that you can get it. You know, one of the requests has been something that we, in some ways, I wouldn't say it was an oversight, but maybe you could consider it that, to be honest. With the end in Dungeon Raid, you should get a chest. Oh. It'd be nice if you could get that as like a, you know, end of completion. You know, you completed the dungeon, kind of classic like, dungeon crawler. Like fantasy. Soul Harvest. It had Where, like... It's, it's Soul Harvest, you get a chest. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So... If we did it in Dungeon Raid or if there's some other randomization there where, you know, you're not doing the drone, maybe you get some you get to like a, a room and the drone is opening a vault or something. These are just off the top of my head ideas. Yeah. So you have to defeat all the enemies and then it opens the door and there's a big chest in there and then maybe you could select a weapon. Right. You know. Okay. Pretty Sweet. Handy. So Yeah, no, I, I think that's That's one idea. Right, right. I, I think it's just a good point of like incentive for people and I, I think it's a good idea not to have it in, in all of the chests because yes, it would keep that incentive definitely. fresh and, and actually an incentive rather than just it's available everywhere. So, yeah, no, that that is pretty awesome. All right, uh, what do we got? Let's see. Maybe one more room? Um, two. I think. So I guess this is, two? well, one more room and then the end dungeon, I'm guessing, is this one? Yeah, probably that. End room. room. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's, do, Let's it. do it. Okay. I always remember this room as the starting room, but I forget that it can be just a random room. Yeah, that's one of the... Th we may... So, speaking of, like, you know, the different sets and everything, we have four different styles. Yeah. Within those, you know, you have... We have, you know, within the what's called the buried set, it's anything like underground, essentially, yeah. or a bit of cave, crypts, stuff like that. Yeah. Sewers have, this is actually a sewer, even though there's no water. It just uh, kind of has like the, the same type of aesthetic and everything. But yeah. within those sets, we have different types of rooms, and one of them is a dead end type. So dead, this is a dead end mm. that can be used for loot, you know, loot, and then turning around. Yeah. And, and then they can also be used for start rooms. Yeah. So, Right, because we are I, in the dead You know, dead someday end. it'd be nice to add some more, like, start room only. You know, I think it really gives some personality to the dungeons. You know, if you it felt like you were really descending into a dungeon or descend, Kind of like how Crystal Hunt works, where you have, like, that specific start room where you're entering the pyramid. Yeah. If we had more of that, that, that would be... I agree, that would be... add cool. a whole lot besides making the level, the dungeons feel, you know more interesting unique in that sense yeah so, and unique yeah, so, yeah it'd no. take a decent amount of rooms though to make it so you're not seeing the same things over and over and over right right yeah all right that could be cool yeah all right well we got last room let's do yeah. it all right and who's on the right here yeah okay yeah this this sewer. Oh, and actually, hey, we're, for a while I thought I'm running low again. You're running low. Okay, yeah. Let, let's just yeah. do it then. Let's get it out. Okay. And I want to make sure it saves the video. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> the great beholder. Great beholder. Octoculus battle. Yep. <laughs> Love that. Nice. Oh. All right. Luckily, we were on tier four. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that that helped with the help with the storage for sure. But yeah, I'm thinking uh, that was. Uh, both of those videos, that, that's a lot of content to work off of, and yeah, I, I really appreciate yeah. that. Um, and I had a lot of fun. What was that? That was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That was awesome. Um, and here, let's let's transport back on in, and I guess. Hold on. 
Yeah, you you I ending the this. video right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, hopefully it's saved. -ish. I think it did. Awesome. Well, again, yeah, I, I appreciate you for doing this, and uh, I guess I'll wrap it up. Uh, I, I don't really know how to wrap it up. I usually just uh, just say see you, see you guys, and uh, that works. See you next time. Yes, yeah, I guess we'll do some more of these. Exactly. See you next time because we will. Yeah, we'll we'll have some more, um, and the next time. Uh, it can be shorter. I mean, I know this was this was pretty long. We can have just like a single dungeon. We could do a save dungeon, like, and or we could just do like a simple showcase of a feature if it's an outpost, whatever it happens to be. Right. Um, but yeah, no, I think this is great that we got a lot of stuff to work off of and uh, post this video on, I guess, my YouTube channel and then potentially other other gate as well. Uh, with what we that see. Works. Yeah, out. I think we should definitely keep doing this. I think. Hope the players enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, uh, well, Just I guess share. that's a good thing to mention um, to whoever's watching this. Let us know what you think. Um, if there's specific things that you want to see from Quaker X, from the developers, um, and or a way that I can help host it better or help get it to people better in some way, uh, yeah, definitely let us know. But aside from that, I guess I'll wrap up my recording too and uh, see you in the next one. See ya.